it's something that most cooks are starting out really mess up in a, in a big way, and that's cooking mushrooms. Mushrooms are probably about 85% water. The number one mistake that people make is they get their pan hot, they'll take all these mushrooms and dump them in here. Well, that's gonna completely lower the temperature, and it's gonna cause that, that water to start pooling, and then you start steaming. What you have to do, and what's really important, number one, I'm using a, a larger saute pan because I, I'm gonna put the mushrooms in, and I'll probably cook these mushrooms in two batches, not one batch. So we're heating up the pan, get the oil kinda hot, put the first one in, starts to sizzle, you're good. You have to allow a little bit of space around these mushrooms, and when you see steam coming off this right here, that's water that's being evaporated, okay? If these were too close together, you wouldn't have that surface area to evaporate the water, and these would get soggy. If you're using a, a cheap saute pan, what's gonna happen, often, especially if it's aluminum, they get bowed on the bottom. You put your mushrooms in, you start shaking the pan back and forth, they all collect to the center, the water pools up there, and you end up with mush. This is something you wanna keep the heat fairly high, but again, you don't want it to start burning. Now, I'm lifting again, it's starting to sizzle. We turn it down just a little bit. It's still sizzling nicely. And then we're gonna just move these around nice and easy. It's cooking a little faster than I cook meat or fish, but it's still not high heat. You'll see the steam coming off so you know you're evaporating water. And we're gonna take our time with this. Now, really important when you're, when you're doing this, one other thing I'm, I'm, I'm listening, and I wanna make sure that that heat doesn't drop off. If it does, then it's gonna start to steam. So if I add too much, and I purposely just get, add it more to the pan just to crowd them up a little bit, then you gotta bring the heat up a little bit just to maintain that heat. And if you look in there now, you'll see that all the mushrooms are starting to brown. What we're gonna do is we're gonna finish this. We have some chopped up garlic, a little bit of rosemary, you can use parsley or any other herb, tarragon. Tarragon works nicely. Um, and so we're gonna add some of that to the pan. And then we're also gonna add some, some butter. Once all their water is out of them, okay, they'll absorb the butter. Again, I'm lowering the heat because I don't want these shallots and garlic to, to burn. A little pepper. Now you may have noticed one thing. That I'm not using a towel. This, this handle stays nice and cool because the way it's made. The heat's not being transferred into, into the handle, so you can you know you can grab the handle and you don't have to worry about burning yourself. Ready to eat. I mean that's just in itself just beautiful. You have different textures, different mushrooms, beautiful sauteed mushrooms. Cute.